Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes Today let's see how we can export a Revit schedule into Excel So firstly let me open this planting schedule here It has three columns The first two are grouped under group 1 It has a title, a blank line over here and a few data rows below So how can we bring this into Excel if you need to Let's go to File, choose Export, scroll down to the end of the table and choose Reports. Finally click on Schedule. And now you can choose where you would like to save it. I would just do it in my documents for now. Planting Schedule is fine. Save it, choose to override whatever is there. And now we are presented with this op option screen. For now, let's go with the default, but I will note this setting so we can use this later on. So, take my screenshot there, keep it to the side, and let's proceed with this export. That's done now. I can now go to Excel and then open that file we just exported. It's from my Documents folder. Choose Open. Now, because Excel is very, uh, a very extensive spreadsheet program, it has lots of options. Sometimes you may get lost a bit. So now let's go through the import options very quickly. Only the things that matter to us we look at. So firstly, because we exported this schedule from Revit to a CSV that sorts for comma-separated values, the values in your columns, they are separated already now in, now in the CSV file by a delimiter. It could be a tab, could be a comma, could be a space. Excel is quite good in identifying that delimiter and use it to separate your values into rows and columns in the Excel table. So for now, I will just go ahead with this option there. The default is delimited. Next, you can choose to have headers for your data or not. Because we just exported this with the title and everything else, I want to leave this as unticked for now. You can start importing from row 1 at the very beginning of your CSV file or maybe some other rows down the table if you like. For now, I'll put this back to 1. For the encoding system, this usually comes into play when you are using some non-English language like Malaysian, Indonesian and whatever. Sometimes you have to make sure UTF-8 that I have selected here because UTF-8 will make sure all the special characters, non-English character, will be transferred successfully without losing any of the formatting. So, that's for the screen. I'm going to do next. And here, you can manually specify the delimiter that I mentioned before. We used tab in the previous setup. It's there. So, Excel actually identify that for us automatically but if you want to change it you can from here the text qualifier is the quotation marks at the moment and that means let me show you what that means in the csv if i open the csv real quick because we chose to have text qualifier as the quotation marks there you will see it everywhere you will see it everywhere in the CSV file. So every value you have in the table in Excel, uh, sorry, in Revit, the value has been put under here between quotation marks. And that's how Excel can know that that's the value because that's between text qualifiers. So for now, that one is okay. There's a preview as well of the data. If you want to see a quick look of it, you can here. For now, I'm gonna go and do next. The final setup screen, step 3 out of 3, is this. You can choose the value type of your columns individually. So let's say if I have the last column there, the count column, as a special value such as a date, I can do that from here. I can select the column number 3, choose to say that should be a date value column, and then I can even choose my date fat. 
for now we only want text so you can do text or for us do general usually that's does the conversion automatically for me so it says here numbers will be converted to numbers dates to dates and so on that's quite good as a default option so i want to use it anyway now we can go and do finish and it doesn't open in the same excel window it opens in another one just now so let me bring this to the screen now there you have it the same schedule in Revit is now in Excel you can see they are quite similar but in Excel because you uh, may be more familiar with this program you have a lot more power to say format the schedule filter your data and do what you need now I want to do a second export where I can tweak the options for exporting a bit you can see uh, a real feel of what we can achieve I will just rewrite the previous file oh I cannot because it's open in Excel let me just give it a new name schedule number two save it and now let's say I want to have only my column headers and my values I can then untick title untick grouped column headers and I want this group one there in my Excel export and I can untick headers, footers, and blank lines. So this line there, this blank line, it shouldn't come to my export. Fill the limiter. I think tab is fine for now. It doesn't matter so much because Excel won't show this anyway. Text qualifier, again, doesn't mean much to me at the moment. So let's go ahead and export this. That's done now. If I go back to my Excel and choose to open, by the way you can choose open from any excel window it doesn't have to be a blank one so i can go to the existing one over here and do open as well choose planting schedule number two and then open it now we, we walk through this option screen of um, previously just so you can see what's happening behind the scene but usually i can select if my data has headers or not and do finish even that one doesn't matter so much. Excel doesn't do anything special to it. So for now, we can just do finish. All the other options will be the default values anyway. And now, this is the second export. As you can see, much more simple. And I can now go and do this and quickly turn that into a table because I didn't export the rows and the values that I don't need. Only column headers and values are here for me now. I can do export, sorry, format as table. It has a header row. And then you have it. This is a fully qualified Excel table. I can do my sorting. I can do my filtering on the values. And so much more. It's up to you. So, I hope that was useful. I hope that was useful for everyone. Have a try for yourself and I'll see you in...